What's up everyone, it's Cybernet8610, and today we have some cards from Primal Origin. Uh, of course, these don't have the effect. <laughs> That's, you know, I see all these awesome cards, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do. Ah, oh, we have to wait for that. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for that, but there is good news. There's a lot of old archetypes that are getting support in this set. I'm actually really surprised by this. Some archetypes you really wouldn't think about. Uh, the first one, like... Like I said, is Diamond Core of Kwaki Meru. That's an old archetype I haven't heard of for quite a while. One of my favorite archetypes. The the idea of how they worked and everything I thought was amazing. They never really could do too great, but the idea was good. I liked how they worked. So with this Diamond Core of Kwaki Meru, I think it's going to be pretty good. I, I'm going to assume it's like Iron Core, but better. So yeah. Next up we have uh, Pakura Lineage of Gusto. So yes, another Gusto card. It looks like she has Puny Penguin with her in the background. Is Penny Penguin instead of being in, like, Antarctica, I guess he's, like, in a forest or something? Okay. <laughs> Seems kind of random to me. Or that's what it looks like. I guess it could be a different monster. Anyway, it's... I'm just glad to see another Gusto monster. Another one of the archetypes I thought was always uh, really cool. Hidden Arsenal archetype. A lot of those Hidden Arsenal archetypes were a lot of fun to use. So I hope this will be a continuing trend. Maybe, you know, Drax, uh, X-Sabers... Dragoonities, <laughs> give them some support as well. We might see that. I don't know if they're doing gustos though. Maybe they will. So it's it looks like that card will come in for them being a level three. All right, we have Celt Ogre Lord of Dark World. Uh, yeah, level six Dark World monster. Maybe with this newer card and hopefully more newer cards, they will be stronger. It seems like Dark Worlds and, well, the Evil Swarms are the two that really come to mind whenever they're those archetypes that have so many great cards, support cards, and are actually really scary. But they never really win anything. I don't know why. Everyone's always like, you know, this is going to be the next going to win everything. And they do good, but they don't, you know, they're still, I guess there are other decks out there that are more broken than them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe this will be the card that will help them actually do really well on top. Because they are scary, but, you know, like I said, just like Evil Swarms, they get all this awesome support, but they never, you know, do a whole lot. Which is unfortunate, because I like both those archetypes. Although, Dark Worlds, they're just freaking scary. <laughs> Next up, we have Glitter Beast, uh, Augusto. Another Glitter Beast monster. I was a bit surprised by this. And the more surprising thing is, well, it's a level 8. Level 8 Dark Monster. You don't see that too much. I think there's only one or two other Glitter Beasts that are level 8 that aren't like fusions or actual monsters. And, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of surprised by this. I hope it will be good. I'm wondering if it'll be useful or not being level 8 like that. We'll just have to wait and see. I like seeing more support for Glare Beasts. They got uh, some help in the OCG uh, with Bistiari, so maybe in the future we'll get a break where in the TCG. Come on. <laughs> Give us Bistiari. All right, after that we have Hazy Flame Hydra. Another Hazy Flame card, uh, level 6. Uh, just like you know, the others going with the whole theme there. And I can't wait to see what this is going to do as well. Hazy Flames were pretty fun to use, so I'm... I hope it will be useful. I don't really have a guess on the effect or anything. I, I guess it'll just maybe be easy to bring out and uh, go for your rank 6 monsters or something is what I guess will be my best guess. After that, we have Mecha Phantom Beast uh, Olean. Uh, this one, I'm going to assume, is a tuner monster. And no confirmation on that, but I'm just going to guess that. It's a smaller looking monster. It's like a little satellite, and uh, he is uh, level 2. or Yeah, so I feel like that's going to be a tuner monster. I don't know. Well, we'll wait and see, but that's going to be my guess. It's going to be something that will help go with uh, more synchros. And really, having another Mecha Phantom Beast doesn't surprise me. I'm glad to see the art types continuing, but it's not surprising to see others seeing, you know, a really old art type coming back. But still cool. I do like that art type as well. I like the idea of it. Next up, I know this one of my friends is going to really be happy about this, and that's Scrap Factory. Uh, it's a new field spell for Scrap Monsters. Uh, I'm going to assume you melt, like they're going to, like, find a way where they you get rid of the scrap monsters and you can bring back more or something since it's like melting them down i was trying to try to come up with some kind of good guess for scraps scraps is another art type though that's pretty good you know but it's just missing a few cards too it's not one you're gonna probably see top anything maybe after this that could be different uh but it's an art type that at least for fun will hold its own and do really well so i can't wait to see more support for them as well i mean they gave us scrap dragon as well <laughs> one of the best synchros we don't even really use it with scraps <laughs> anyway, we have Madolce Angeli is the last card. Yes, another Madolce card. I know a lot of you are excited. Uh, I never really use Madolce's too much, but <laughs> I guess I'm more of a ghost trick person. <laughs> it seems like, you know, you hear about people like Madolce's or ghost tricks. 
uh, yeah, though, I'm glad to see more support for them. I'm glad that they're not just going to drop the archetype. That's the same with a lot of these. seems like Konami has that nasty habit of making too many new archetypes and forgetting the old ones. So I'm hoping this will be a recurring theme, and maybe we'll see some other archetypes in the future that will come back in the packs. But yeah, tell me what you guys think with these cards. Try to guess a few of the effects if you want. And also, which ones are you most excited about? You know, are any of these older archetypes you're really excited to see come back again and maybe be meta-worthy? I, I wonder. You know, I'm hoping I'd really love to see Quacky Mirrors after everything people have said about them. It'd be hilarious to see them win some kind of YCS, but that's probably some kind of dream. <laughs> but, you know, surprise me, Konami. As always, thank you for watching. All the info will be in the description, just really the pictures and the names. And uh, once we have the effects, I'll make a video on that. All right, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.